So let's talk about selection. Now we've talked about it a little bit that you can left click and select something and, and that's great. We've even talked about how you can hold the shift button and you get an additive selection, but there's a lot more sophisticated tools than that and a lot easier ways to select lots of things or particular things in Blender. So all of these tools are available in object mode and edit mode, but I'm gonna talk specifically about edit mode as that's where I tend to use these the most and I think they're the most useful and also the most obvious of how they're working. I've got the monkey face here and I'm going to use this as an example of selection because it's got a lot of vertices. To get into edit mode again, I'm going to press tab to enter edit mode. Sometimes you want to select all the vertices, all the edges, all the faces, or if you're in object mode, you might want to select all the objects that are in the scene. And we can do that by pressing A. Now in older versions of Blender, you could press A again to unselect and that still sort of works with Blender 2.8, but you have to do it quickly. The other way, the more supported way to unselect is to press Alt A to unselect everything that you've selected. Over here in our gizmos, if I click and hold on the top option, we can see that we have various different uh, selection modes. So we can do a box select, which allows us to drag a box around and it will select whatever is inside of that. There's also a hotkey for that, of course. Uh, if you press B, you will get a box select. By default, Blender is additive selection. So if I press a B again, and select more vertices. I don't just select those vertices, I add those to my already selected vertices. And then again, I can press Alt A to unselect all of those objects. Another useful selection mode is the circle selection, which is the second option in our selection uh, gizmo. And no surprise here, we get a circle to select things. We can click and drag it around and kind of paint uh, which vertices, edges, or faces we want to select. You can also, while you're doing that, you can use your scroll wheel to change the size of the circle. This is pretty convenient because it tends to start pretty small. And of course, Blender has a shortcut for this as well. If I press C, I go into circle select mode and you can, now I don't have to drag. I can just use my scroll wheel to adjust the size of it. If I left click, we'll select. And if I use my middle mouse button, it will unselect any of those objects. So I find entering this mode with the hotkey a lot more useful than using the menu. It's a little bit more intuitive. I don't have to be dragging, clicking to change the size of the circle. I also really appreciate the ability to unselect uh, by using my middle mouse button while in this mode. If you have used the hotkey to enter circle select, it can feel a little tricky to get out of it. All you need to do is right click and you will exit circle selection. The last mode that's in our gizmo is the lasso select. And if you've used anything like Photoshop or any other drawing program, it works very similar. We'll be able to draw a shape and it will select whatever um, is inside of that shape. Now it's worth noting that by default, what we are doing, we are selecting the vertices, the edges or the faces that we can see. If I turn this around, we didn't select any of the edges or vertices on the other side. It's also really useful to know about the modifier keys and how those work with our uh, selection. So we talked about shift uh, as an additive selection. So again, if I hold shift and I lasso around more pieces, we're going to get additive selection. If I hold control and I lasso around pieces, we get a subtractive selection, which again is convenient and covers most of our use cases of how we want to select things. So we don't have to deal with the mode buttons up at the top left all that often. Now, if you're working with selection modes and you want to go back to the regular behavior where you can just click on something and select it that way, what you're going to want to do is left click on the gizmo and go up to the tweak button here, like so. Now I'll bring you back to the default selection mode where you're going to select whatever you click on.